One of the most reliable and accurate leakers when it comes to Pokemon games has been giving us hints and other teases as to what the upcoming Pokemon games will be. So his Twitter account is RiddlerKoo and he's built a reputation for himself for being an accurate leaker with Pokemon video games. But rather than like giving us a straight up answer or a straight up leak, he gives us like a little riddle or a hint or tease and we have to kind of figure it out. He mainly gained an audience with Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Scarlet and Violet, and Legends Arceus leaks. So he has a good portfolio of accurate leaks to back himself up. So these teases that he's been giving us recently are probably legit or at least close to legit. So most of the leaks and riddles he's been giving us are about the Scarlet and Violet DLC, but also with those leaks, he's also been kind of giving us teases as to what the next actual Pokemon game is going to be after the DLC in 2024. So he tweeted this picture of Zelda along with like a really blurry picture of like black and white three or something. It's in Japanese text. I'm not exactly sure what the text says, but there's Zekrom and Rashiram on there. So it's Gen 5. That's the Innova region. So of course, when you have the open world Zelda game next to a picture of Reshiram and Zekrom, everyone thinks that means that's an open world legend style Unova Gen 5 based Pokemon game coming out in 2024. I don't think it means black and white three just because he did put the pictures of Zelda next to it, so I think Black and White 3 are out of the picture right now. So I'm leaning more towards Legends of Unova or like Legends Kyurem, something like that. Some other fans are kind of thinking that it means like an open world remake of Gen 5 or Black and White, which I kind of hope not. If they do end up remaking Black and White, I hope they just kind of go with the linear kind of style Pokemon game. So the leaker also stated that somebody in the DLC with Scarlet and Violet coming up soon is actually going to be a really important character and kind of connected to whatever the next Pokemon game is. Like, it'd be kind of cool if this character kind of connects us to whatever this open world Unova game will be. Like, maybe it's going to be like somebody that can time travel or something like that. And going on with the remake thing, though, I don't think it's going to be a remake in an open world style because it takes about five-ish years between every single remake. I think Gen 3 and Gen 4 remakes actually was like a seven-year gap, so that was a pretty long time, but it's typically about five years. So if we do see Gen 5 remakes, it's probably going to be around 2026, 2027-ish because... BDSP was 2021, so of course, you know, do the math. It's going to be at least 2026, probably. There's also another Twitter user by the name of Soul Silver Art, where he basically thinks that he solved the riddle, and he thinks the Scarlet and Violet DLC characters are going to have something to do with the Ultimate Dragon, which is something we've never actually seen before. It's like one of the most popular lore storylines within Pokemon that is pretty much unknown as of right now. The only thing we really know is that the Ultimate Dragon exists. We don't really know what it looks like. We don't know much more about it other than it split into Kiram, Reshiram, and Zekrom and stuff. I honestly like the idea of the Scarlet and Violet DLC characters having something to do with the Ultimate Dragon. I think that's going to be the perfect setup for a Unova Legend style game because we'd either get to go back in time and learn about the original dragon before it split into three dragons and everything, or maybe we'll go into the future. It seems like there's going to be some type of time travel stuff going on though within the DLC or the Gen 5 game because Scarlet and Violet was heavily based around time travel, like, you know, the Parallax Pokemon and the very end of the game with the uh, professor or doctor. I can't remember what his name is, but, but the guy at the very end who was like sent back from the future and like he's a robot and everything. So we know time travel does exist in the Pokemon world and everything like that, so I think it'd be pretty cool if somehow Scarlet and Violet was connected to us being able to go to Unova region, either in the future or the past. So going along with that, there's a fan theory about when that Gen 5 game would actually take place because Legends Arceus took place in the past. Scarlet and Violet, of course, takes place in the present day, so maybe the Unova game will take place in the future. We're definitely going to see some time travel type of stuff within the Unova game. I feel like the Gen 5 game is actually going to take place in the future and the past, just because if there's so many things going on with time travel, I feel like it would make sense for us to somehow go back and forth in time throughout the storyline of Legends Unova. I'm really looking forward to this though, I really hope it's like an open world Gen 5 game. The Gen 5 Unova region is one of my favorite generations of Pokemon, one of my favorite regions. I just really love Black and White, I really want to play Black and White too, but you know, those are like $150. I can't afford that right now. And actually, going along with the time travel stuff, in Scarlet and Violet we actually saw Ingo, which he's actually from Black and White, I think he works like on the subway or something like that in Black and White, and he was a character in... Legends Arceus, which always takes place in the past, so I think Pokemon 
and Nintendo back when Legends Arceus released, they could have been teasing a Gen 5 open world game because somehow Ingo time traveled into the time of black and white. So literally they put a Gen 5 Unova region character in Scarlet and Violet, which of course is the open world game. So it kind of just makes sense. So, so maybe he's going to have something to do with the time travel or how we get to the Unova region again. Maybe he's going to be the character that shows up in Scarlet and Violet and he's like, hey, I time traveled here. We gotta, you gotta help me out over in uh, the Unova region or something like that. And I know that people have mixed feelings about open world Pokemon games. I personally really like them, but I do think they need to improve some of the stuff. Like, I loved Legends Arceus, but at times it kind of felt like uh, I was like lonely almost. Like, there aren't a lot of towns around the map, and it just kind of felt like a, like a barren, desolate area at times. But overall, the game experience was great. And Scarlet and Violet, of course, is just really glitchy, really laggy. But I think if they're going to take what they learned from Scarlet and Violet and Legends Arceus, they can probably make a really amazing open world game. And this might be the last Pokemon game on the Switch. I know this video kind of contradicts my previous video, but at the time of my last video, these leaks weren't out yet when I recorded that video. Because my last video was about, like, will there ever be another mainline Pokemon game on the Switch? And now we kind of have an answer of course it's not official this is nothing announced from nintendo these are just possible rumors possible leaks so take everything with a grain of salt anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time